What's up guys, AK Crazy Russian with DCC Train. How are ya today? I have small technical difficulties, I'm so sorry about that, but um, the reason I have them, I try to broadcast at 1080 so we can see all details and that's very important. So anyway, should be good right now. So if you have an issue, some uh, deal, I mean, Picture is, uh, pictures, something wrong, pixelation, sound is not clear, just let me know, okay? But we should be good. So, um, this channel, for like long installations, I'm working on layout and stuff like this. I'm not going to do that long presentation at DCC Train. It's DCC Train LLC and, UDC, and DCC Train Live. So, welcome to subscribe, but that's what is going on. So if I need assembled, uh, some of you like to watch the whole thing what I'm doing. So that's what that's what I'm doing. Now today, and I think I have another camera should be good side camera, so you can see details. Yes, a little bit, a little bit better. Yes. So here we go. Works. Very nice. Um, I'm soldering my wires, means the wires I'm choosing, and LEDs I'm choosing, usually it's TCS, okay, by myself. Why I'm doing it? Because I don't like sometimes what you're getting. And um, one time guy came to the shop and saying like, hey Alex, do you need like 100 or 200 LEDs? I'll sell for nothing. I said, my man. <laughs> Oh, Franco, buongiorno, buongiorno. Thank you. Um, I'll sell you for nothing. I said, my man, what's, what's wrong? We'll just sell it and give you money. Like, no, they they something wrong. They like kind of bluish. Maybe can use them for like newer modern uh, halogen, you know, type of um, headlights and stuff. Yeah, so you never know what you're getting because who's selling those guys? Not manufacturer. So you cannot really come after them and saying like, hey, yeah, you can return, of course, but it's not worth it. Um, yeah, so they showing like, like neutral, meaning to me neutral is kind of daylight still. And finally you're getting golden or vice versa. One time it was different, uh, different size. The guy ordered like um, those of those standards. Um, usually with dimensions means whatever dimension guys I'm using it it's mostly for everything uh, point zero six wide point zero three deep and point twenty seven tall those standard LEDs I'm using like in ninety percent of my installations when I'm making lenses hey Paxton what's going on man yeah, it's um, it's time consuming, and but I know exactly, and that's what you guys paying me good money because I'm doing a hundred percent, not some some random stuff, and I can almost yeah, and my work guarantee, pretty much for uh, almost like life yeah, lifetime of uh, the year for the for the decoders. But LEDs, man, no problem. So we'll do six wires. I'm sorry, six LEDs, sunny white LEDs right now here. I'll do um, two, another two LEDs on a magnet wire like this. And I like to twist it, twist the magnet wire myself too. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes they very thick. Sometimes they not even working properly. Okay. That, that's why and um, and this is for Rob for his installation so let's put those guys two on the side and I'll uh, just put them here not sure is TCS really making them here but if they making them here that's just I don't know but they are the same every time I'm not buying like Maybe I have an in stock probably five uh, pockets 
I'm sorry, red and green. I, I didn't say it, I think. I'm sorry. Red and green on magnet wires. Yeah, so there you go. What you need for this, you need flux, separate flux. That's mandatory. There is no escape from the flux or it's nothing going to work. And what I'm doing lately, it's ESU um, wire. I'll show you. Three, six. Hold on. Ah, so they're doing, yeah. Um, AWG 36 gauge. All right. You're getting like 10 meters long in the package like this. 10 meters, mm, just a little bit over ni 9 yards or something. Yeah, I'm still in metric and I'm okay with the... Uh, is that Imperial or whatever? Um, yeah, so... I did a lot of wiring yesterday. I didn't clean my... Um, usually I'm cleaning it constantly, but no, I don't have really time and it's okay then after that I'll definitely clean I'll definitely clean my solder it's 60 40 okay all real deal okay my soldering gun is weller for that tiny applications but I can solder believe it or not I can solder even truck with this I won't recommend, but theoretically, yes. So I'm applying just a little bit heat, and that kind of opening, it's sh the the insulating insulation is not shrinking. It just a little bit shrinks enough for me to do the job, and that's it. I see kind of. Um, try guys, switch the camera, side camera. Next time I, I'll probably do like more magnification, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Again, it's time cons consuming, but, um, but exactly, you know what you're getting. Because if you doing like your own custom lenses and stuff, sorry if I, my hand is on the, on your way. Actually, let's put it back to the top camera, and we'll just uh, sit here. If you have a questions, or you can uh, answer questions later. No problem. Under that stream, and that's the that channel for for long presentations if you s by accident just show up no problem you can fast forward later and see what we're doing yes flux do the job see yeah that's what i prefer yeah again maybe uh, Time consuming, I probably can do um, installation quicker, but again, I can sleep well. Polarity wise, we'll do on the magnet wires, I'll show you, but we'll do those quick, probably another 20 minutes. I will be done because Rob, oh, that's probably too much. I think it's one of the real end of the wire that was like extra just cut it wrong or something I don't know let me see maybe it's not even wire <laughs> because again I'm telling you it was a looks like real end. yeah exactly real end of the wire so no copper for like two three millimeters okay let's get extra old solder get fresh beautiful 
All right. Try to speed up. Rocks coming. The quality will be the same. Means good quality. Very good quality. <laughs> My hands absolutely clean. You can use those um, rubber finger, um, but that's okay. I'm cool. Uh, finger gloves, you probably see before. No problem. The magnet wire will be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Oh, yeah, so good. The temperature is right, the flux is right, no messing around, the wire is good, great. Yes, you mix. Again, uh, not sure. It's uh, for last five years, ESU, they change the wires, they change manufacturer, or they think the manufacturer changed technology on using maybe different copper and um, yeah copper and um, that means the actual metal and um, insulation it's different because before which is I wasn't super happy you touch it a little bit I, I still have some wires like that you just touch it a little bit and uh, insulation zoop, rolls out for like millimeter it's not good it's not good at all okay maybe I already put some flux again no problem extra one hurt if you don't have it oh that's the problem yeah great Periodically, maybe after 10, I will clean that um, tweezer thing. And I bought it at the train show or something man, for like 8, 5, some, something bucks. And this is made of gold. I'm not kidding. Because we calculate how many LEDs I just did for Rob over like... 500 or something and for myself <laughs> or maybe even more yeah we yeah maybe more and this is about 10 something years yeah yeah more than that so another my point I'm trying to make yeah you can put some flux here and like smear it on LED pad that's working okay surface mount LED uh, SMD yeah surface mount LED like D for device surface mount device that's what it stands for here we go cool yeah extra flux no problem flux is Kester 186 military grade that's I'm using for decade I did I make my own but it's just getting so messy and whatever no fun okay so two left for um, I'm done with the regular wires we're calling regular wires and Rob's wires means the twisted um, magnet wire. All right. So here we go. Just touch. Very 
done. So, yeah, means again, guys, maybe I'm repeating myself, but it's a hundred percent. If you really want to get good quality, I can make it for you. TCS selling their own with the wires as well. I don't know who is soldering them. I don't know. I never bought them with the wires, but they looks okay. Means I don't want to say a word. Maybe they soldering at their facility in US. Maybe they buying that like this. Um, that's perfect. Okay, done. Six, six done. Okay. Um, <laughs> broadcasting, my man. So. Um, I'll, I'll turn the sound for a second. All right, guys, uh, Rob's here. I'll uh, show you what I'm doing with them. So he will pick them up as soon as I'm done. And um, I'm using the bottom of triangular for my green wire. And this is signal. Again, did I mention polarity? No. That's why. I don't want to see polarity also from which side it's that's how I figure out for years the the, the major thing also he will or whoever uh, get those LEDs yeah I can make mistake easily but he will uh, test them before installing all right and well, that's time consuming right now, so I need to hit that uh, insulation lac lacquer type for about 20 seconds on each end. That's how you're getting rid of insulation, and the magnet wire manufacturers probably also different depends, um, means some of them like taking, you see it's already tinted like very good uh, sometimes you need to wait a little bit longer so my triangular bottom of triangular on top right now and this is green for signal I like that terminology it's very easy you cannot confuse with I'll tell you like it's a, a positive or negative then decoders say also positive or negative negative and finally uh, you're not gonna screw anything if you put resistor of course but it's confusing already it just won't work it will work when you flip it the other way and then but it's too much hassle all right I don't think so it's any machinery soldering like this I think it's all um, like by hand so here we go guys show you one like I promise you this is same golden I'm sorry this is sunny white LED and I just twist a little bit so make sure wires is cool and that's it Thanks for what? Yes, and then I'm going to. Uh, I'll finish another one, and I'm going to clean them with 90% uh, alcohol thingy. That's how we're doing. All right. Thanks for coming and uh, supporting business and channel. I'll see you on DCC train with uh, in other parts of uh, Ed's layout, pencil layout. Very cool. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.